Congratulations to John Burkow, the Speaker, for his brave and principled refusal to provide the historic platform of Westminster Hall to a man who preaches racism and sexism, and who dismisses a fundamental principle of the U.S. Constitution, the rule of law, Trump unfit to address MPs, says Burkow, February 7. In these troubled times, the courage to uphold democracy and individual liberty is of the first importance. John Burkow deserves our respect and support. Shirley Williams Liberal Democrat, House of Lords Ned Newitt, Letters, February 7, confuses the issue. There are two types of cartridge used to play LPS, Moving Coil, MC, and Moving Magnet, MM. The output of an MC is lower than an MM and therefore requires its own phono amplifier through which its signal is then fed to the main amplifier. The higher output from an MM cartridge can be fed direct to the phono input on the modern amplifier to which he refers. However, in both instances the deep bass line derives from the LP. Otherwise how could the reproducing equipment detect when it occurred? Doug Simpson Harrogate, North Yorkshire Eddie Jones, Sport, February 6, feels that England, Pop 53 million, should easily be able to beat Wales, Pop 3 million. So those pesky All Blacks, Pop 4 million, will present no problems then? Alan Woodley, Northampton. John Barstow, Letters, February 7, neglects to mention the inconvenience for trains exiting a proposed North Channel rail tunnel of the change of gauge from GB's standard to the Irish 5 feet 3 inches. Barry Korzanewski. Dewsbury, West Yorkshire. From searing political hip-hop and cosmic jazz to acid-soaked rock and new age, Los Angeles is home to some of today's most important music This is our guide to the acts you need to know. In response to John Barstow's letter suggesting the building of a Northern Channel Tunnel between Scotland and Northern Ireland, I have two words, Beaufort's Dyke. Nick Hearn. Brighton. Following the discussion on the various properties of Weedabix, letters, pass him, I wonder if anyone has looked into its potential as a sustainable building material. My memory of toddlers fond of Bix for breakfast was that it took a hammer and chisel to get the stuff off the table if left until lunchtime. 